I hope everybody's doing well. Today I'm going to review the worst candle in the history of candle making. I'm sure candles have been being made for centuries and centuries, and along comes the Caucasian shopper's dream store Kohl's to bring you the worst candle ever made. Uh, this is uh, the Sonoma brand Fall Festival candle that I got at Kohl's, and they have a a gift card that I, we get in the mail every once in a while. It's like uh, ten dollars off, I think, or you could use it in the store. Uh, normally these are twenty dollars, so it was only it only ended up being ten dollars, and even for that price, it's quite disappointing. Um, on the on the bottom, I guess this would be the highlight of the candle, as it does give you a little description. So you can read that. I don't feel like going through it, but it's a really nice scent. I'll give it that. Uh, it's a really nice kind of apples and cinnamon kind of scent. Uh, and I really like the the scent, but it just it's a you can't use the candle at all. I um, as you can see here, it's a uh, three wick candle, but I have <laughs> two or a couple of them are gone, but I have two extra wicks in there. Uh, even with my extra ones, if you notice, they're clearly not centered very well. Um, so what I did was I had to take some. Uh, I took some tea lights and I took the wicks out and I I placed them in there to help it burn. Cause what happens with this candle is it it melts, you know, completely over and then it'll. Um, you know, it kind of drowns the wicks out, and right now, right before it's over, I really can't keep it burning more than probably 30 minutes, and it just goes out. I, on the side here, I poured out some of the wax, actually, and put it in a warmer just to see if that would work, and it didn't seem like that was releasing the, the scent as well, or it went away kind of really quickly, but, um... Just think of all the, you know, how many people have made candles in the history of the world. It's probably, I don't know, a million? Is that too many? I would say a million. I mean, think of all the centuries that have gone by and people have made candles or, you know, craft projects that that do better. But a, a $20 candle from, you know, White Person Mart is uh, doing really bad. <laughs> that... They had a bunch of other flavors since there, uh, but I like this one the best. I was really, I'm just really disappointed with it, um, because you can go to Walmart or something and get a, a knockoff candle, and it it does a lot better. I mean, I don't even care about if it doesn't smell. That's one thing, but if, if a candle doesn't even burn, that's like the sole purpose of a candle, right? I mean, I don't know. I just I would just be very weary of buying from this company again, so. Uh, let me know if anybody's out there has tried the Sonoma brand candles. I haven't really seen anybody on YouTube that has talked about it. I'd probably, probably a good reason for it. The picture's kind of weird. It kind of looks like French toast sticks rather than a kind of an apple pie, but. Uh, I really like the smell of it. It's a nice smell. Um, I just wish it worked a little better. So I'll try to light the rest of this through and see. Uh, I mean, there's probably more than a million people that's made candles in the world history. Imagine how many different candle makers there used to be in, before electricity was made. I mean, man. It'd be interesting to see if they, if they did scented candles or that was kind of a new new thing to bring candles back, I guess, after electricity was made, or invented, discovered. Yeah, I always, so I have a lot of trouble with these kind of candles, with the, the soft wax not doing too well, but that's my horror story of the day from the fine folks at Kohl's, where you can buy all your teen and preteen clothes for back to school, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> Thanks for watching.